be great. Okay. All right. It's recording. Perfect. So I'd like to call the order uh, the Nantucket Cultural Council. Uh, may I ask who I have in uh, attendance? Please state your full name. Michael O'Brien Kopko. Thank you, Michael. Emma Justin. Young. Sorry, did you get that? Uh, can I ha can I get that again? I'm so sorry. I Emma Young. You, so I Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Uh, Justin Cherney. Perfect. Thank you, Justin. And Janet Schulte, staff. Thank you, Janet. Welcome. Uh, I'd like to call this meeting to order uh, Tuesday at 1.12 p.m. Uh, for the Nantucket Cultural Council to discuss uh, the application, um, re, uh, re clarification of the application of Out to Sea, uh, what ha has happened um, in uh, the process of uh, the time allotment between uh, when the grant was written to uh, the award time. Um, Liza Obrensky has gone through a little bit of a change of her company. Uh, Emily, can you speak to that a little bit more? Uh, you were in direct contact with her, I believe. Yeah, so um, in the agenda, I included Emma. a letter that she emailed to me. Um, her, She's no longer running as a nonprofit, the Out to Sea Foundation. So she's gonna be doing a new show called The Liza Show. Um, I believe, as herself, as an independent artist. Um, so she's just asking if we can transfer that funding, which was $1,000 um, instead of giving it to Out to Sea because they have dissolved, it would go to Liza Obremsky for the purpose of the Liza show. Does Perfect. everyone have the um, letter that she wrote to us in the agenda? Okay, so I don't need to summarize that for you. Pull that up. This Perfect. is a really this is a really unintelligent question. I should know the answer to this, but her nonprofit profit status it doesn't that that shouldn't dictate any anything on on a decision. Correct. I don't correct. Think, um, um, I believe individual artists can apply. Correct. You do not need uh, a nonprofit status to apply. I didn't think so, but I just wanted to. So, I mean, mm -hmm. great, great question. Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm all for, um, you know, continuing to support her and her endeavors. Um, you know, perfect. I, Can we, we bring this ask, to a vote? Yeah. I mean, I, m m what do I need to move to, or you need to do it, Jordana? <laughs> uh, you can move. You can move it to a vote, or, or I can either, either or. You do it. You're so much better at it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'd like to bring. I'd like to bring to order um, uh, for a vote that the uh, funding for one thousand dollars that was originally awarded to Out to Sea be now moved to the Liza Show. Uh, I bring that up to vote. Do I get a uh, first? So moved. Second. So moved by Michael Cobco and seconded by Justin Chern. Perfect. Um, the next uh, uh, item on the agenda is to discuss the possible virtual award reception. Um, that Wait, does, that, does that count as a vote or do we need to say that we voted on? I think it's supposed to take a roll call to a virtual meeting. Pardon me? You have to take a roll call um, for the vote. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, let's do that again. Uh, we're going to take a roll call before the vote um, for the, again, this is to vote uh, that the funding be moved from out to sea to uh, the Liza show. Um, that funding was $1,000. Do I get a, uh, may I get a roll call of uh, everyone in the room uh, before the vote? Yeah, just I think uh, you just Cop have to call our names and then we'll vote right, by right. name. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, Michael Kafko. Aye. Justin Chern. Aye. Emma Young. Aye. Janet Schulte. I don't vote. 
I, I um, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to to um, thank you for being in the room. <laughs> um, and then my vote, uh, I I vote uh, yes that the funding should be moved. Uh, so that is a uh, total of four voting members uh, in a unanimous fashion voting for uh, the movement of the $1,000 uh, from out to sea uh, to the uh, Liza show, which again is a non, is a, uh, at this point, a for-profit organization. Excellent. And I will go ahead and send the letter I'll resend the um, award letter to her. Have all the award letters gone out now? Uh, I did yeah. all of the, yeah, all the ones uh, telling people that they received the funding. And I think Jordana took care of the ones that didn't receive funding. So I could post yes, the minutes from the January meeting then? Yes. Um, uh, has, I, I have reviewed those minutes. Has everyone reviewed those minutes? Had a moment to review those minutes? Janet sent that out uh, a little bit after noon today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, so that I will put that at the end of the meeting, um, uh, the uh, acceptance of those minutes. Um, I want to move on to the next uh, um, agenda uh, item, which is to discuss the possible virtual award reception uh, for our uh, grantees uh, that have won the money. When, um, uh, when we're, what's the proposed date for this, or is that something we're, we're to dis discuss. I put it on here because I thought last year we started to talk about it and we right. had kind of a subcommittee working on it. Um, and then we postponed. So I thought maybe I would bring that up again for this year. So it's just totally at the baby stages. It said in the minutes sure. from January that we were talking about a fall reception. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't I, remember. I was just going to suggest that if we if we can hold off until the fall, I feel like I feel like a lot of things are going to be different, and we could probably still be outside if we'd like to, but it might be a little bit more of uh, we we might be able to be in person um, and feel comfortable, and the, the recipients feel. And I think we're going to learn a lot this summer, obviously. From mm -hmm. um, so, my, I mean, my. My two cents would be something in September, or I even wonder, like, would it be interesting to have it coincide with Arts Week um, in October? Um, yeah, now that Janet mentioned that we talked about it in the fall. Can we I talk about we Arts did. Week too? I may be just taking everybody's ideas and summarizing. No, no, I think that we might have talked about that. When, when are applications for the Council of Council due? October 15th. Because this is also a good way to promote the, the next granting cycle, and it, it, it's it's a, it's a great idea to hold it off to the fall. For is so many there a reasons. way to ask the cultural council if they could extend that deadline just this year, since since we are in the midst of a pandemic, and we could because it did it get up? extended this year um, because of right. the same reason. And I would assume, you, you know, being a state, uh, you know, I would assume uh, the extra buffer helped everybody. So um, I will reach out. Um, I'm just thinking uh, if you have an conjunction with Arts Week, October 15th is like right then, but there might be somebody new sure. that we get some exposure to. Right, we right. We can, just, that, yeah, we can use that as a great platform to, you know, just make right. everybody aware. Yeah, I love that idea. And, and maybe garner another member or two even. Um, so yeah. maybe should we try to think about I know it's a long way away, but setting up another meeting maybe in late August or September to, to discuss. That sounds great. Because I, I just know it will, it'll probably get away from us in the next few we're months. We're going to need a little more running time than two or three weeks to pull this off. Mm -hmm. I just don't know I, what. I'm, I feel like, could we even think about, can we think about June? Because I feel like if we, if we meet in June, like that's before, Still, kind of before everything yeah. gets maybe so busy. I don't know. I'm just putting that out there. I, yeah. No. I'm sure. I'm available to meet any time, and the sooner the better. Do Do we have yeah, a absolutely. thought on a location, or is that we'll discuss that in June, maybe? 
We were going to do the Athenaeum last time, but I don't know if it'll be open yet or not. We can always try to get Children's Beach as a venue. I think White Heron's courtyard, I mean, I'm volunteering your courtyard. Your courtyard, Michael, but I mean, I think that would be a lovely spot also. I don't yeah, know. I agree. It'd be, it would be a great spot and we'd love to have everybody, so. Yeah, and I know right. last right. time we <laughs> talked about space for you, but. Picking, a, <laughs> picking a spot that was kind of one of the cultural institutions, so that would be great. Yep. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, can, I could work on scheduling a meeting for June and if we can all arrive with maybe some ideas. Could you, um, that sounds great. For, could we aim for middle of June? Just any uh, late June? Yeah, if we could aim around the fifteenth, I would really appreciate that somewhere. But what is the fifteenth? What day of the week is that? Uh, That's a good idea. That's easy to remember. Um, don't know. Let's. It's a Tuesday. Fifteenth is a Tuesday. Tuesday. How does that work for everybody? Yeah, could we do a Tuesday at one again? I can put that in right now. That that yep. works for me. Um, yep, sorry, I can make that. that. Okay, uh, let's so let's get, roll, let's get a roll. Let's get a let's get a roll call of who can make that. Uh, Michael Kopko. Yep. Perfect. Uh, Justin Churn. Yes. Emma Young. Yes. Janet Schulte. I'm looking at my calendar. Um, I have something at one on June fifteenth. Okay. Um, Two. Two o'clock? Yeah. Michael Kafko? Yep. Perfect. Justin Churn? Yes. Emma Young? Yes. Jordana Flyshoot? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, all right. Perfect. We have a meeting uh, uh, June 15th at 2 p.m. That's I'll the day find the notes from last year to send it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll all come with the cock. <laughs> two, two might be a little early for the cocktail, but you know, it's COVID. So it'll be five o'clock somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, can I ask you to set up this me the meeting? Um, and thank you so much for setting up this one. Sure. And then, if any, is there anything else anyone would want to add to that agenda? Perfect. I'll if just... anybody has anything, um, can we send it to you via email? Yeah. And I'll make sure to add that we um, accept the minutes from today's meeting. Uh, I have one Perfect. question before we go. Are we a rolling, um, like, in terms of joining the council, is it rolling membership or? Yeah, they, you can join at any. They can appoint somebody anytime, so. Okay. Yes. I just think it would be nice if we all put our heads together and thought about, a, you know, a, a few. I think it'd be nice to have two more people, just my two cents, but. Um, just yeah, wondering. I could add that as an agenda item just to have some time to think about it. And I mean, is it appropriate for us to discuss individuals that might be potential members to join? I mean, that feels that's not. I do that on visitor services. OK. OK, so I'll think about it, too. But I just thought maybe it might be nice to. To have some people we also Perfect. know can make the meetings and be, you know, be active if we're going to try to be a little bit more active. Um, yeah, definitely. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. So uh, let's put our heads together and try to bring some names together uh, for that June meeting. That sounds great. Uh, may I get a uh, acceptance of the uh, minutes from our last meeting? I'm going to take a roll call. Um, and has everybody had a chance to look at those minutes? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, um, Michael Kafka, yep. do you accept the minutes as written? Thank you. Uh, Justin Chern? Yes. Emma Young? Yes. Excellent. And thank you, Janet Schulte, for write, writing them up. And Jordana Fleischut, absolutely. Uh, yes. Um, perfect. Uh, we have uh, some time for public comment. I have a quick, I will just note that I believe the Arts Council is putting on uh, an arts festival in May. I'm not Ooh. sure the exact dates, but um, just something to have in the back of your minds as cultural and artistic people. Excellent. I've got the flyers, but they're downstairs. Sorry? I've got the flyers, but they're downstairs. Oh, perfect. I haven't seen the flyer yet. I think, do you know, Janet, is it, it's like the last, 
maybe the 22nd through the 29th or something. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it is the week before Memorial Day. Can I ask okay. something unrelated to that? Just to, but I just, do we have an official logo for the Nantucket Cultural Council? Or because like we, I know we've added it to our website. I think I saw it on White Herons and it's been going up. We've been putting things out. I just want to know if, if we have an official one. I took something from Facebook that was there. Um, and we don't have to solve this now, but maybe in June we could talk about that if we need our own logo. I just would like for it to be, that just will help awareness if we're all consistent. I love it. Excellent. Excellent point. Great Perfect. Idea. Let's put that, let's put that on the agenda as well for uh, the June meeting. Yeah. And just for some clarification, I will say that with the award grant letter that goes out, they are asked to use the Massachusetts Cultural Council logo. Um, so they get a link to files that they can download from Mass Cultural, and then um, not to be confused with the Cultural District, which is separate from the council, but they do have a logo as well. Right. So yeah, I think um, getting a logo for our unique branch, the, the Nantucket Local Cultural Council is a great idea. And I'll add it to the agenda for the next meeting. Perfect. Great, and now I open the floor to any member uh, who has anything that they'd like to share. Uh, and if you have anything that's going on with your perspective uh, arts organization, please bring it up so everybody can uh, can uh, help support that. Well, big thank you Michael. to Michael ahead of time for coming <laughs> to the meeting tomorrow <laughs> in support of our um, building a big old stage out in the middle of the field. So Absolutely. I appreciate that. And please let me know if there's anything I can do on, you know, to reciprocate that. I appreciate but, it. Yeah, we're gonna be in front of them at some point for the same, essentially the same thing. So, well, but I, I think will. it's really great for it. If everybody's supportive of everybody, yeah. I think it's really important. So what's going on? Let, let's do. The economic task force will, report out on it in support of it tomorrow night too. Oh, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> Excellent. So that sounds very positive. Yes. So thank you. And congratulations. This is a whole bold new world, like, you know, for, for the arts, uh, but for theater, uh, it's, it's huge. So, uh, well, Michael, congratulations. Such, a, such a good point to, about just how theater has just been really gutted and theater's also taken a real examination of itself. I mean, this has just been a really tough and unique time. And so I, I agree, it's it's nice to, you know, the, I, I think we have an opportunity as the cultural council, if we expand ourselves a little bit more to actually help, you know, this idea that's been looming out there forever of getting these organizations to talk together and work together. I think, you know, we could, you know, this is a good, a good way to start all of this that's going to be really complicated this summer. <laughs> so. Right. Yeah. Collaboration is the key to everything. You know, if everybody sits down and talks, it's amazing how, how much just the, people have in common and can help each other. Totally. And I think just even the support of one another's, you know, ventures. I mean, that's right. You know, um, you're not there out yeah. alone. Yeah. It's exactly. huge. I know, I know Josh and Bethany and Alicia have all been talking to about how to work together and collaborate on stuff. So yeah, it feels good. Yes. That's great. That's great. We can all Perfect. sing what a song together now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think it's it's just it's going to be a wonderful i think it's going to be a really great summer um uh just because we're you know we're we're just we're just out there doing our thing and and great things come from that so um and when people work together amazing things comes come from that so it's gonna um, be i'm excited crazy, to see that it's gonna be a really crazy busy summer i i you know we're we're trying to rent housing and it's just you know they're like yeah, there isn't any housing available to rent at all. It's just 100% rented. 
it's going to be a really big, busy summer. And that's like, even if yeah. you have, you know, $25,000 a week to go, I mean, an unlimited mom, right? There's not even anything to rent. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just crazy. Anyway, yeah. sorry, that's a whole nother. <laughs> that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> Well, perfect. Um, may, you know, hopefully we'll, you know, have more solutions to that in the future. Uh, would anyone like to add anything else before we bring this meeting to a close? Yes, if we can come up with more solutions to affordable housing, I think that we'll be doing very well. Wow. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, it's, I think it starts with conversations because I think they're, you know, if, if now I know that, you know, that you guys need housing. So if I hear about that now, I know where to kick it back to. So, so that's all good. Great. Would, would anyone like to add anything else before we bring this meeting to a close? No. I would move adjournment. Second. Do I get a second? Perfect. So the first was Michael Kopko. The second uh, was, I'm sorry, yeah, I can't. Justin. Thank you, Justin. Uh, so I have a second. Um, so I'd like to bring this uh, meeting of the Cultural Council uh, to close Tuesday at 1.33 p.m. Thank you so much for everyone uh, for participating. And our next meeting is scheduled for June 15th, which is a Tuesday at 2 p.m. Uh, via Thanks Zoom. Everyone. And Emma will be sending out the details. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.